Hey everybody, I have another book today, another night and day coloring book, I should say. This is the second one that I have reviewed. Um, the first one was Animals Night and Day, and this one is Woodland Creatures. There are 90 different designs in this one. Uh, design and illustrator Patricia Moffitt, and this is a Carlton Books. Um, you can find this... I mean, you can find it on Amazon, I know, but you can also find it on carltonbooks.co.uk. Okay, the cover of the book is, as always, gold foil, really beautiful. The spine, pretty nice heavyweight book. Um, you can feel that it's, you know, good quality. And these books, what's really great is they show one color, the picture, the same picture on a dark background and then uh, on a light background. So you can color it different ways and it does look different. The, the color on the background does make a difference. Okay, let's see. They are, they are perforated. Looks like it. Nope, they are not perforated. Here are the contents page. It gives you a little thumbnail of all the um, pages in the book. And here is the introduction. And it says, it's unique because it invites you not to color, just color against white, but also against blue, black, and gold backgrounds. Each of the many detailed outlines featured here are display both a day and night backdrops, providing you with opportunities to highlight tone and textures and creating striking contrast. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it, it's just really beautifully done how, how they have come up with this. Um, you'll have like the picture, like she said, in either uh, black, blue, gold, and then when you flip it over, it's the same picture but it's in uh, the opposite color. Okay, so I'm just going to do a flip here. And when you color them, they're just stunning. Against the different colored backgrounds. Oh, I love this bat. I'm going to do that one first. the woodpecker. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love the spider. I hate spiders in real life, by the way. I get teased a lot, but I love this one. Creepy. I like it better on the gold background, to be honest. Nice. Look at that frog. Beautiful. It's weird because you'll have to see what types of tones and colors you'll use to, you know, make it real life so you can see, like, what would you use on a dark picture like this? And then how would you color the same picture in the daytime? What colors would you use different? Oh, I like this one. Pretty peacock. Sent to Peter Snake. There's that owl from the cover. Oh, I like the horse. Little mouse. Oh, look at the bee. I think it's a bee. <laughs> it looks like a bee. Moose. 
dragonfly is pretty on the gold. And the blue. Nice. Looks like a mold. Like the nighttime bunny. What is that? It's a silverfish. Oh, I love this one. Isn't that beautiful? Definitely like the background on the darker one better. Not that it's bad, it's still gorgeous. What? I don't know what that is. If y'all know, leave it down in the comments. What is this? Come on. Really off. It's coming from the spine a little bit. That could have happened in shipping though. Um, I like how they did the, the two little foxes right here. They also have um, available. This is the animal one that I have. The animals. And they also have Beast, Fabulous Beast, New York, and Paris, night and day. Yeah, I hope to get those soon. The next one I want to get is Fabulous Beast. Looks like a dragon on the cover. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this book. Um, I will post a link to where you can purchase this book. And I would really love it if you hit that subscribe button and press that thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.